Hey guys, so it's chord time. You made it. So here we go. We're gonna learn our first chord. This is the G chord, and this is the most common guitar chord used by a guitarist. It sounds like this. We use all six strings, so we don't have to worry about muting any strings. We learned how to strum, so now we can strum all of it. So let me break it down, and uh, don't get discouraged. We do use all four fingers, and this chord is a little difficult, but that's why I'm teaching it to you first. And you'll be glad you learned this chord first, because I'll hint later that you're gonna be using it a lot on a lot of songs, so. Here you go. So we're gonna start here with our middle finger, which is our second finger. And we're gonna put it on the third fret of this low E string, okay? It's gonna sound like that. And that is actually the name of the note G. And that's gonna be our chord as well. So by holding that, and you're gonna make this a nice curl because you don't wanna mute the string by holding, your, holding it flat. So you're gonna come at a right angle right on the fretboard, third fret. Okay, and that leaves us with three different fingers hanging in the air. Next, we're gonna use our first finger, and it's gonna fall right here on the second fret of the A string, okay? And if you have fingernails, you'll have to cut them uh, because you're, you wanna keep this tight in there on the second fret. So let's put these together, third fret on the E string and second fret on the A string. Okay, next is D it's gonna be open. So make sure this finger is arched. You don't want it muted. You've gotta hit it right on. So you, you can hear each string clearly. Next is G. That's gonna be open as well. So these middle two strings are actually gonna be open. So that's pretty easy. And these next two, we're gonna use these two fingers and they're all gonna fall on the third fret. Third fret and third fret. So the pinky, is going to take the highest string and the ring finger is going to take the one right above it. And you're gonna have to fit these all within this third fret. And you can do it, it's a little bit of a squeeze, but then make sure you arch these fingers and place them on the third fret of the low E and second fret of the A and try to keep these middle strings open like this, not, not muted. So arch everything Put your thumb on the back just to relax. And you should be able to hear all six of those notes. Ah, the G chord. It's awesome and it's used lots of times in songs. So practice this, don't get discouraged. It is a little difficult, but that's why you're learning it first. And we're gonna be using it a lot. So good luck guys. Thank you.